on a ship, a tall ship like a victory. So there are sails and the whole thing's moving from side to side. Yeah, that too is called Autumn. We are here today as part of the Organ Project, a project we've got running at the church that's not only about our organ, but it's about celebrating the heritage and culture of our city. One of the things we're doing is um, looking at parts of the church. In particular, there is a monument to the Royal George, which was a naval vessel from the 1700s that sank in the Soviet. And one of the things we want to do is think about what connects us to them. Music, in, in particular, sea shanties and folk music. People would often step dance, they play music with their feet. And of course, if we're on ship, we've got lovely hard boards to dance on as well, so it makes a wonderful sound. We're doing folk music and folk dance. Has anybody heard of folk dance before? Or folk singing? Oh, brilliant. Oh. If you haven't heard of it, folk music and folk dance is music and dance, including sea shanties and step dancing, but lots of other styles as well, that's done by normal people like us, just for fun. We'll roll the old chariots along and we all hang on behind. And some good fresh meat would do us any harm. So Nelson's Blood, the name of the song, that's actually a joke. I'll explain, but it means rum that sailors would drink. People who were working on those kind of ships would sing as they worked. We know definitely that pirates did it. We also know that what they called the merchant navy did it, the people who moved stuff around the world to sell. You've got things that need pushing, like the great big capstan, the big wheel in the middle of the ship with bars on it, which they used to haul up the really heavy ropes like the anchor cable. Pull the rope, pull the rope, or push the capstan. They actually, they move better, and because they're working as a team, they do the work faster. Off we go, here we go, we go one hand. Captains below making tea for the crew. allowed to them each day. That made them feel so brave and strong, it was like having a bit of Nelson in them. So it was like having Nelson's blood in them. So that's why 
they would sing that slightly weird line. But like we carried on with, the whole song was is about things that sailors want and miss. It's a tune called Portsmouth. They certainly used to play it every football game at Fratton Park because it's Portsmouth tune. It's about 300 years old. It was written as a as a dance tune and there was a, a special dance that used to go with it and people are still playing it and it's become part of our folk culture. So make sure when you, when you go home today that you do tell your grown-up that as well as singing sea shanties you were dancing along to Portsmouth. <laughs> that now that you know some sea shanties and some step dancing, if you live here in Portsmouth, this is part of your culture. Whether you lived here forever and ever and your parents lived here and your grandparents lived here, blah, 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 or whether you moved here last week, this is part of your culture. Because culture is a thing that we jumble in together. Some of us will have a real mixture of cultures depending on where our families, maybe from or where other places we've lived in our lives. Or maybe lots of your culture is here from Portsmouth. All away, all away, we hope for better weather. Way, all away, we're all away. But the really cool thing about culture is that it's for sharing and giving to other people. So now that you have this little bit of your culture added to your knowledge, please do share it with other people and use it as a way to make new friends.